Csak úgy hol lesz so, a Father, bless this uh, message and our hearts and the, um, the thoughts of our hearts. May you minister to us. Thank you for the new creation. That's really the point. It's not the law, but it's the new creation. You have made us completely righteous by faith in you. It's a, and you've moved us from a courtroom to your living room. And we thank you for that. That you are not our judge, but you are our friend. You've come for us, saved us, and now you walk with us. Thank you, Lord. May we pray for um, those who are sick this morning. We pray for those who are trusting you for miracles. Yes, Lord, we are. We get um, closed into a corner. And uh, we don't have answers. And we don't see a way out. But we trust you. Like Moses at the Red Sea. We just trust you, wait for you. To speak to us. To lead us. Yes, Lord. Help us, Father, to understand your nature and your character. That we can be filled with your spirit. The way your spirit thinks. What the Holy Spirit feels. Lord, we want to walk with you. Deliver us from our natural man. Quicken us that we don't just live a temporal life, but quicken us into an eternal life. Make us alive. We offer our bodies, Lord, to you. We offer our souls to you. What we think, what we feel, decisions we make, we offer it all to you. Every movement of our hands and feet, everything we see, everything we say, Lord, we just offer it all to you. Yes, Lord, wash our feet as this world is a dirty place. Lord, we want to have our eyesight clear toward you. That we can see you clearly with a single eye. No distortion. No legalism. No freedom that is not from you. Bless us, Father. We are your children. Without you, we can do nothing. And with you, all things are possible. Yes, Lord. We pray for Jolt this morning. We pray, we pray for Lince this morning. For Emesha. For Dudashvita. For Magdi. For Julie. Yes, Lord. We trust you. We praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. So, I think I have a PowerPoint up here. Okay, so uh, I'm actually not going to completely summarize last week, but, um, but we, we ended with, uh, with believers not being afraid of the law. Uh, we don't we don't mind that that we that we are told we're doing something wrong. 
nem bánjuk, hogy megmondják, nem mondják valami rosszat teszünk. It's no problem. Ez nem baj. Because we're under grace. Mert kegyelem alatt vagyunk. Right? We're not under the law. Nem a törvény alatt. Under grace. A kegyelem alatt. The old sin nature. A régi bűnös természet. Is deactivated. Az deaktivált. Right? Is, we do not. We're so the old sin nature. Inaktivált a régi 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 természet. The old sin nature gets excited. Hogy a törvény alatt a felindul a régi bűnös természet. It gets excited to not do what the, what the will of God is. Felindul arra, hogy ne azt tegye, amit mi, ami Isten akarata. It's one of the, the wisdom of parents. We need to be careful. <coughs> Ez a szülőknek egy bölcsesség, óvatosnak kell lenni. How do we viszont? not activate our children's <coughs> old sin nature? Hogy csináljuk úgy, hogy a gyermekeink régi bűnös természete ne legyen aktiválva? Right. As soon as you say don't touch that, you can just see it in their face. Just say it, don't touch that. And they are like, oh. And they go, 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 oh. And ahol a régi bűnös természet tapasztalatilag halott. And that is because of the new, the new nature that is in us. Ez az új természet miatt van, ami bennünk van. And the Holy Spirit. És a Szent Szellem miatt. So that we look at the law, the law. Azért, hogy másképp tekintsük a törvényt. No longer are we saying, do I have to? Nem mondjuk többi azt, hogy muszáj megtennem. I don't want to. Nem akarom. Instead, we say, Lord, here am I. Azt mondjuk, hogy itt vagyok, what would you want me to do? Mit te, mit we're not afraid of saying that. Nem félünk ezt mondani. Because we're living in under grace. Mert kegyelem alatt élünk. And uh, actually, Gabi also mentioned talking to me. is beszélt velem. Uh, about last week's message. A múlt heti üzenettel kapcsolatban. And she said that. I think you said that. És azt hiszem, azt mondtad. It's not really a question of freedom. Igazából nem a szabadság kérdése az. It's a question of Slavery. We're either a slave to sin, or I'm a slave to righteousness. And God has made us righteous, and He's put His nature in us. So we see then. Uh, uh, oh, I got. I. Uh, I don't have the clicker. Could you bring that up to me, please? I'm like pressing, but what is wrong with that screen? It's not because my computer is not connected to the screen. Okay, now it is. Maybe. Oh, it's not Okay, so it's still there. Anyway, could you hit that button for me? Okay, I don't know if I did that or you did that. You did that. Okay, so. So there's Moses. Ott van Mózes. One of the artist depiction of maybe. És egy uh, Came down off the mountain. Amikor lejött a hegyről. With the Ten Commandments. A tíz parancsolattal. So we see there are really two two laws. Látjuk, hogy igazából két törvény. One is called the Deca the Decalogue, the Ten Commandments. Az egyik a tíz parancsolat. Which Moses brought down from the mount. Amit Mózes hozott le a hegyről. And uh, can you hit the next? So. One is the law of written written on, with his own finger on a tablet of, on the tablets of stone. This ez is a, the famous ez, Ten Commandments. Ez a törvény Isten saját ujjaival írta a kőtáblákra ez a tíz parancsolat. And I wish I could. Is this working now? No, I'm not. Okay, I'll go like this. Back, back. No, okay. okay, so this moral law. This <laughs> moral law. law came from God's character. This is who God is. When God thinks about men, and how men should treat him and each other, this is, this is what he thinks. It's a, it's a law of relationship. Part of it is a relationship with God. A része ennek az Isten Other half is the relationship with men. A másik része pedig so, emberekkel való kapcsolat. So, whoops, back. Sorry. <laughs> so, this is uh, this Jesus summed up the whole law. 
Jézus összefoglalta az egész történet. Probably the, the both tablets, one, side, one tablet and the other, or one side and the other, probably. And one is that we would love the Lord our God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Az egyik az, hogy szeressük az első mi istenünket teljes szívünkből, teljes elmékből, teljes lelkünkből. What just happened there? Uh, let's go back about 15 slides. <laughs> okay. Okay. The other is, the second is like it. It's from the same, it's from the same um, source or the same spirit. And you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. There are no other commandments greater than these. Okay, so these, uh, in Exodus 14, 19, 49. This moral law was put into the Ark of the Covenant. The cover and the cover was put on it. And this cover that was put on it is the mercy seat. This is the, the, the seat of propitiation. Where the blood where the blood of the of the animals was was uh, sprinkled. The other one is the ceremony on the civil laws. Uh, these were written by Moses in a book, not on tablets, but in a book. And uh, this book was actually uh, was actually put in the side of the Ark of the Covenant. Not inside, but beside. And and um, it was put in a in a chest, probably. It seems. Um, because uh, that that law was found in the temple. Uh, and uh, it went, went uh, everywhere the ark went. So did that that book. Uh, okay. So um, then we have so the ark is where the law stays. Because the ark is a type of Christ's deity, the tabernacle within the veil of his flesh. Okay, so the ark in the Holy of Holies within the tabernacle we have the ark of the covenant. And here we have Christ Christus who is in his flesh, <coughs> who, who tabernacled here, right? he tabernacled amongst us. The Logos tabernacled amongst us. So the law was actually, we can't say that the law was outside of Jesus, but actually it was inside. Because, because he was the living expression of his heart toward us. That he is God. So um, the, the ark is also a type of a believer. Whose conscience has been sprinkled with the blood of Christ, and in whom Christ dwells. Okay, and you you can read that in in Hebrews chapter nine, the whole the whole chapter is, is about that. And the result is is that our conscience is under the mercy seat or under the blood of Christ. And this sets us free to serve the living God, which, which is the desire of every man, every woman, is that I could have a living relationship with the living God. And Jesus has done everything he possibly can under the plan of the Father to make it so that our relationship with God would be uh, would be um, untouched unbroken 
megtöretlen. Right, so that every believer, when we accept Christ, hívő, this relationship is established ez a kapcsolat megalapozódik. That in the heart of God is also in the heart of me. Isten szívében is az én szívemben is. Zsidók 8. fejezet. Um, which is quoting Jeremiah 31. A Jeremiah 31-ből idéz. That God puts his, his uh, law in our hearts. Hogy Isten. Writes them on, on the flesh of our hearts. Hogy Isten a törvényét a szívünkbe írja a hústest tábláira. That we, so that we can know God. A hústest tábláira azért, hogy ismerjük Istent. Természet a természet. Okay. This has some interesting, interesting um, uh, uh, results. És ennek van némely, némely érdekes következménye. Uh, so this decalogue, this Ten Commandments, which is in the Ark, uh, this now, this, this spirit, this nature resides in us, not as a law of death, but as the character of God. Remember, we've moved because of justice satisfied. We've moved from a courtroom to a living room. Never again can the law condemn us before God because Christ has satisfied that law. Now the, the condemnation of the law that Paul experienced as a believer in Romans 7 and that we also can experience happens because the flesh is already judged by the law. So, so in James chapter 1 it says that when we are tempted we're drawn away and sin is, sin is conceived and then, then sin brings forth death. And believers can live in that the experience of that death even though we are alive unto God. Because we, because we are living under the, under the, uh, the power of the flesh. Azért, mert a hústest hatalma alatt él. Which is why in Romans chapter 8, Ezért van az, hogy Róma 8-ban uh, the spirit, the spirit, the spirit. a szellem, a szellem. So I want to jump szellem, ahead. Jump ahead a whole bunch of... Uh, oh, is this working? Is this working? Most már működik. Okay. Okay, so if you go to Romans chapter 8 with me. Lapozzatok Róma 8. fejezetéhez el. We see here two, two laws in effect. The word law is not only the Mosaic law. It's not, it doesn't only relate to the Old Testament, but it relates in general to a rule. Principle. In the same way that we use the law of gravity. Laws have authority. Laws, laws have power. So here we have two laws. And so there, there is that now no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. Why is there no condemnation? Because Christ has satisfied the demands of the law. He's taken away the law's power to condemn us. Okay, we, we, there is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. That but for, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. Mert a Jézus Krisztusban való élet szellemének törvénye megszabadított engem a bűn és halál törvényétől. Okay, and, then, and if you jump back to Romans chapter 7, és ugye visszaugratok Róma 7. fejezetben, you see in verse 23, látjátok 23. versben, these laws, ezeket a törvényeket. Okay. Um, I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind. 
de látok egy másik törvényt az én tagjaimban, mely ellenkezik az elmém törvényével. And bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. És engem rabulád a bűn törvényének, amely az én tagjaimban van. Okay, so the law of the mind az is the law of the spirit of life. Az élet szellemének the law törvénye of az sin a bűn törvénye is the law of sin and death. Pedig a bűn és halál törvénye. The law of sin a bűn törvénye says, I read the, the Bible, I read the law, and live, or I follow my conscience, and when I, as I do, I try to carry it out by myself without God. And my old sin nature is excited, I end up not doing it. Or, or uh, I either don't do it, or I do what I do, shouldn't do. And then I am condemned by that. And then I live in the death of that. And, and what a horrible, horrible life that is. <laughs> oh, praise God. How many have ever lived that life? I have. I think we all have. Okay, praise God. Because there's, there's another life. Another law. Okay. It's the law of my mind. It's the law of, of the finished work. It's the law of the truth of the gospel. It's the, it's the law of the spirit of life. That the mind of the spirit And the very first thing uh, that Paul talks about is minding the spirit and minding the flesh. And verses 5, 6, and 7. But if we look at verse 3, so what the law could not do because it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. Isten az ő fiát elbocsátván a bűn testének hasonlatosságában és a bűnét kárhoztatta a bűnt a testben. Sin was condemned. A bűn kárhoztatva lett teljesen. Verse 4. So that the righteousness of the law could be fulfilled in us. Hogy a törvénynek igazsága beteljesüljön bennünk. Okay, fulfilled in us. It means that we would actually be righteous. Not just that we would be positionally righteous, but that our lives would express God's righteousness, that it would be actually carried out in us. And this is where, this is a, a kind of a new, a new, um, Revelation for me. And that is that, that this righteousness that God has given to us by His grace, it's not dormant in us. It doesn't, it doesn't sleep in us. But there's another law. And this law is what God has established for us to walk in. És ezt Isten megalapozta számunkra, hogy ebben járhassunk. So that azért, we can actually become righteous. Hogy igazak lehessünk. That a Christian is a supernatural person. Hogy egy keresztény ez a természet fölötti lény személy. That a Christian is completely different. A keresztény teljes mértékben más, mint egy természeti ember. Because of this law. Emiatt a törvény. So the right brothers, you know, they created the airplane. Úgyhogy a right testvérek megalkották a repülőt. And they crashed a lot, but they finally. I don't know how fast they have to travel. But they, if you travel a certain speed, the law of aerodynamics overpowers the law of gravity. And this huge plane flies. Okay, and this is what this is also. Ez az, uh, this is also what happens ez to believers when we have the mind of the Spirit. Az szellem elméjével, szellem And if you would look at 1 Corinthians 2 with me, Paul, Paul basically he, he is like identifying 
this spiritual man and what he is receiving from the Spirit. In verse 9, it says that I hasn't seen nor has ear heard nor has it entered into the heart the things that God has prepared for them that love him. Love. Love. When, you know, if, I, if I, I've, I've been a soccer coach many times, when I look at a player, if you love that player, then you have a vision for that player that goes far beyond what that player could ever imagine. And this is also the way God sees us. It's impossible for us to see what he has for us because it, it hasn't, we haven't seen it or heard it, it hasn't come into our mind. But then he says in verse 10, but God has revealed them to us through his spirit. This amazing Bible is not about do's and don'ts. It's not about it's not a book of religion. But it's a living book that produces life in us. And it produces life in us through the Spirit. Because the Spirit is searching the deep things of God. What man knows the things of a man except the spirit of a man that's in him? Only you know what's in you. We don't even know all of that. But only you know what you're thinking. Praise God. Thank God we can't read each other's minds. It'd be much more difficult to maintain relationships. Nehezebb lenne a kapcsolatokat fenntartani. We reading each other's minds. Hogyha olvasnak egymás gondolatait. Even when we say things, we, we hear a little bit. Mikor mondunk valamit, még abból is csak egy kicsit hallunk meg. You know, we can destroy relationships so quickly. Olyan gyorsan elpusztíthatunk kapcsolatokat. That's why, if you, that's why the most important thing. Ezért a legfontosabb dolog. I know that we say that words, tudom, are, that words are cheap. Hogy a szavak olcsó. But I'll tell you what. Mondjuk, the most important thing for your relationships are the words that are passing between you. And those words are powerful. Anyway, so the Spirit is, re is revealing these words to us. What God is thinking. What God is thinking. What God is thinking. And we realize that God is not thinking about condemning us. It's impossible for him to think like that. He only thinks about vision. He only thinks about potential. He only, because he sees what grace will do. He, see, he sees what we could do if we just look away and look at his son. Látja, hogy mi, te, mi történne, hogyha csak elnéznénk valamiről, és az ő fiára tekintenénk. And the Ten Commandments és a Tíz Parancsolat is really what he sees. amit ő lát. That's where he's bringing us. That we love the Lord with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Wow. wow. That's amazing. That's who the Lord sees. That we would love each other that same way. That's what he sees. That's where he's bringing us. That, that's what he's revealing to us. For what man knows the spirit of a man, except the man that is in him? Even so, the things of God knows no man but the spirit. Now, we have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God. Why? Why did we receive the Spirit of God? Because the natural man cannot understand this. The natural man will never understand grace. He cannot. He works for everything he gets. 
That's the world system. Ez a világrendszer. It's buying and selling. But we receive the Spirit of God so that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. De Isten szellemét kaptuk, hogy megismerjük azokat, amiket Isten ajándékozott nekünk. That's amazing. The Holy Spirit's given to us for the purpose of us seeing what God has freely given to us so that we can see our own potential so that we can live beyond the natural so that our hopeless graphs time Our hopeless graph is no longer hopeless because of God, because what's been freely given to us. Okay, verse 13. Which things also we speak, not in the words which a man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual. And Paul is talking, the we is the apostles, it's them. It's us also, but it's specifically them. As they compare words with words, the exact, what is the Spirit saying to the church? What is the Holy Spirit saying. And this is, and then Paul wrote the, his amazing letters and Peter and James and all the books of the Old Testament through the Holy Spirit. Okay. But verse 14, but the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God. They're foolishness. Neither can he know them because they're spiritually discerned. Okay, then, uh, verse 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yea, he himself is judged of no man. For who has known the mind of the Lord that he might instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. Okay, so here's the, here's the conclusion then. Uh, so, Maturity. What is our maturity? Uh, we see it in Hebrews 5. We see it in Psalm chapter 1. What is maturity? Uh, we see it also here. That as we learn the mind of Christ, we begin to be a judge. Not a judge as a courtroom, but a judge in wisdom, so that we know how to live. We know what is God and what is not God. We, we have a spiritual mind, and the Spirit leads us in a spiritual life through the Word of God, in our maturity. Sometime back, Ephesians chapter 4, we talked about the maturity of the believers in a local assembly. And, and this local church is amazing. And I love it because, uh, because of how, how rich your own lives with the Lord Are, I, I just start something and you you all are going far beyond what I have. And, and I love that. And, and we grow up together. So, so then our lives begin to take on this, this characteristic. That we are we are judging. We are judging what is what is divine goodness and what is evil, what is valuable and what is worthless. And our lives take on this 
this element so that our path can, uh, we aren't walking a normal path. Because the Holy Spirit and the Word of God are initiating to us opportunities and ideas that cause us to live this supernatural life. And of, and of course, if we sin, God forbid that we, that we sin. But that's not the issue. When the, when the, the, when, um, the Word of God finds sin in our life, and that light is shown, it's not a problem. We say, yes, Lord. I come to you, I confess it. It's just exalting my need for Christ. That's why I came. But it can no longer condemn us. And this is the difference between guilt condemning guilt and convicting guilt. Condemnation happens in a courtroom. Conviction happens in a living room. <laughs> where I can be challenged. I can even feel bad. But Paul said, he said, I... I wrote my letters were strong. And I know I made you sad with them. But in presence, I want to make you glad. But he wrote letters that really made people feel bad. Well, that's okay. Because the coach isn't telling you keep your eye on the ball to make you feel bad because you don't. It's telling you to do that so that so that you'll be better. So that, so that your game will improve. And we do progress in the Christian life. Marriage God has a lot to say about it. Husbands do a lot of things wrong. But don't take it personally. I mean, take it personally, but don't get condemned by it. Do take it personally. Take it directly from the Lord. He says, husbands, you understand? You are Jesus in your house. Done. That's it. That's the standard. And we say, oh, Lord, I can't do that. Now I feel bad. He says, don't feel bad. Be encouraged. Seek me. Because grace can help you. Come to me to a throne of grace and get mercy and and get mercy to help in a time of need. We're not afraid of that. Wives. Wives. You represent the whole church. This beautiful, spotless church. Here you are in the Word of God. Love your husband. No. Honor your husband unconditionally. Don't wait for him to earn it. Honor him. I mean, you want him to honor, you want him to love you unconditionally. Well, what about your honor to him? Why would your honor be conditional if his love is unconditional? We say, yes, Lord, tell me the truth. Bring it on. Because I don't want to live my life according to the natural laws and waste it or even worse produce trouble I'd rather walk with God so, uh, so we'll close with this verse then. Galatians chapter 5 so the law really started with love 
And that's what produced the Decalogue. And that's what produced all of the civil and the ceremonial laws. Of course, the ceremonial laws were all fulfilled in Christ. All the sacrifices were, sat, were, were fulfilled, taken out of the way. None of those sins can be held against us judicially. But here in Galatians 5, we see, uh, we see this theme runs runs throughout the New Testament. Actually, throughout the whole Bible. Okay. Verse 18. If you are led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. And then the fruit of the Spirit, in verse 22, is love. <coughs> Joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. No law governs love. Love is the highest law. A szeretet a legmagasabb törvény. It's why the laws came. Ezért jött el a törvény. Because God loved Israel. Mert Isten szerette Izrael. And He brought us to Christ. És Krisztushoz hozott. That minket. law was too weak to make us righteous. Az a törvény túl gyenge volt arra, hogy megigazítsam minket. But it proved that we needed Christ. De bebizonyította, hogy szükségünk van Krisztusra. And it also proved that Christ was without sin. És azt is bebizonyította, hogy Krisztus bűnnyelkül való. And that he who knew no sin became sin for us. That we could become the righteous of God in him. But then, once we are saved, righteousness is not only in us, but it's worked out also. Az igazságosság nem csak hogy bennünk van, hanem bennünk ki is munkálódik. That because of the Holy Spirit, a Szent Szellem miatt, because of the power of God's word, Isten igének a hatalma miatt, because of the reality of our new birth, az új új születésünk valósága miatt, the righteousness of God is fulfilled in us. Isten igazságossága betöltött bennünk. And our reward is holiness, a szentség. That's our reward. Ez a mi jutalmunk. That we actually Love, and we're blown away. I, I, I'm amazed that I could actually love somebody unconditionally. My whole body rejoices in that because finally I've seen God work in me. That's the Christian life. Not just to see my natural man alive. But to see my new man, to learn to put him on, and that and to live in that by God's grace. And then the beam of seed is going to be glorious. Uh, I have just an idea about the beam of seed. Imagine every word you've spoken. Minden szó, amit szóltál. Every prayer you've prayed. Minden ima, amit elmondtál. Uh, every thought you've thought. Minden gondolat, amit gondoltál. That was in God. Istenben volt. Motivated by love. Every, every, every A movement. A szeretet által indítva. Minden mozdulat. And you will see the effect of those things at the BMC. Látod majd ezeknek a hatását a BMC. It'll be amazing. Ez csodálatos lesz. We don't know what our lives have actually produced. We'll never know until the beam is seen. And we're not afraid of it. It's not, oh no, I'm going to be judged. It's like James says, live as those who will be judged by the perfect law of liberty. That means generosity. 
Nagy lelkűség. Right? That, that, that being misled is not a place to fear. A bémaszék az nem a félelem. It's like, Lord, go ahead, play, play the video. Uram, leázd le a videót. It's, it's 72 years long. 72 évnyi hosszú. And, and every, every, and everything that, that had him as a cause. És mindennek, aminek ő volt az oka. We're going to say, really, Lord, that person was encouraged? That person? Bátorodott az a személy. I watered. And ten people later, he got saved. And then five hundred people got saved because of him. And Lord, it was that was that was my my moment. My prayer changed things. The beam of seed is amazing. And Paul looks forward to it. He looks forward to that. Because that's going to tell the whole story. How did grace, how did grace really play out in my life? That's our desire. Because sin does not have dominion over us. Because we are not under the law. Where sin is excited. But we are under grace. Where we are excited. About who God is. What he has done. And who I am in him. Could we sing that song again? We'll close with that song. song. So Father, thank you for these uh, these thoughts. Thank you for this local assembly. Thank you for um, for this study <laughs> that has been uh, is still so rich in our hearts. Because you didn't come to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. And that your righteousness would be fulfilled in us. Yes, Lord, thank you for your vision, how you see us. We want to say yay, amen to the way that you see us. We're not afraid, Lord, but teach us, discipline us. Yes, Lord, teach us as a father teaches his children so that we could experience the fruits of righteousness. That's our desire, Lord. Thank you and praise you. In your name we pray. Bless our week this week, our workplaces, our families, our study time, our prayer time. <laughs> Yes, as we care for people, give us wisdom and decision making, maturity, help us to live outside of our natural appetites, to live above them according to the law of the spirit of life. We thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen.